but there's, there's untapped reservoir of anointing. And so I'm going to break down for you really quickly um, what some of these anointings are that came in this dunamis package that the Lord has provided for us, okay? So number one, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a few of these today, and uh, we're going to, going to come into agreement with what the Lord is saying. Number one is the anointing for supernatural energy. Y'all sounded way too tired to respond to that. Y'all sound like you need this, okay? How many of you need some supernatural energy? Okay, those of you that aren't raising your hand, you're like, oh, I'm too tired to raise my hand. Yes, you, I'm talking to you, okay? <laughs> we are going to enter into a time of supernatural energy. It actually says in James 5, 8, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Another translation actually says it this way. It says, the earnest, heartfelt, continuous prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. It is dynamic in its working. Did you hear dunamis? Did you hear dynamic in that scripture? And so what we have to understand is that, the, that we have to understand that he's giving us the, the power. That, that's where the avails much comes in. But the word energeo is the word energy. And energe, energeo means to be active, efficient, operative, to activate, to energize. Divine energy put forth to effectually bring forth a tangible, noticeable change. Come on. How many are expecting God to actually do that for you? All right? So again, if you can liken your, um, liken this whole experience to turning the ignition in a, car, uh, in a car, all that latent power, all those horsepower in that car actually is sitting at rest in your driveway until what happens? Until you turn the key, right? So what is the key? The key is the Word and the Spirit of God in our mouth. So when we open our mouth and we start speaking God's word, we start praying in the spirit, we start worshiping, we start declaring, we start praying, then that, that word coming out of our mouth is the key that begins to unlock and generate the power so that the engine can roar. So I want you guys to stand to your feet with me and we're going to make some decrees. We're going to do this throughout, throughout my message because I think that we need to actually say what God is saying. Psalms 81 verse 10, we're in the year 81 on the Hebrew calendar. Psalms 81 10 actually says, open your mouth with a mighty decree. I will fulfill it now. You'll see the words that you speak, so shall it be. I want to remind you, you don't even get saved by just believing something in your heart. Come on, it says, if you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you'll be saved. So how many believe that what I said is true? How many believe that in your heart? So we're going to open up our mouth and we're going to say this together. Say this with me. I am filled with superhuman energy and strength. Pray loud with me. Say it loud with me. Decree. My body is strong. My eyes are open. My mind is sharp. And my spirit is ready to step through every door of favor and influence God opens for me. I will activate my spirit language and ignite the fire of God within me as I open my mouth and pray. I am full of life and energy. My immune system is coming alive to thrive. I am a fireball, a generator of life and miracles. I will run and not be weary. I will walk and not faint. I am fully energized to accomplish my calling. I will not just survive, but I will thrive for your dynamo is in me, is generating supernatural strength. Now lift your hands in the air and take just a moment to pray in tongues. Take 30 seconds to pray in tongues. Shika Rama Kashondo, Rima Koto Shoko Tarabakata, Riba Koshika Parema Koshika Tarabasanda, O Telemoria Teke Sheke, No Teke Sheke de Rio Toko Shoto, Nanda Rabakasha Tarabakashanda, No Toko Shoko Tarabaria Takashanda, Meloria Sheke Parabasanda, O Takashanda Labakashanda. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Give the Lord a, uh, just a shout of praise. Woo! 
Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Okay, that's point number one. All right, point number two. <laughs> We're going to get everything God has for us on this Pentecost Sunday. Number two, the anointing of explosive power for harvest. I believe in this season we need to be praying not just for harvest. We need to be praying for harvesters for the harvest. Jesus said pray that the Father, the Lord, would send out harvesters. He didn't say pray for the harvest. He said pray for the harvesters. You know what God's saying? He's saying that we need to get a harvester mindset. Because you know what? How many have ever lived a place where there's like cornfields? How many have ever lived a place where there's wheat fields? Or, or maybe even cotton fields? How many have ever lived a place where there's, where there's crops growing? Okay. I've always lived in suburbia, so not necessarily, but I've seen them. Okay. But you know what? Never in my life have I seen a field of corn bundle itself and jump into the truck. Never in my life have I seen a wheat field bale itself and load itself onto a truck, right? Why? Because it always takes a harvester to bring in the harvest. Now, the scripture that we just read, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, you shall receive power. You shall receive dunamis. You can go to the, that next slide. You shall receive dunamis. In the scripture, it's actually the Greek phrase, lambano dunamis. Lambano dunamis. You shall receive. Now, here's how most of us feel like lambano, that word receive, looks. Now, I love this part of receiving from the Lord, but this is not the word that is used in this passage. Lambano does not look like this. Okay, it's not passive. Lambano actually means to aggressively go after and pursue, to lay hold of something, to seize it, to possess it, and to make it your own. So if you will, lambano looks like this. Do this with me. Come on. We're going to lambano the dunamis power of God. Do it again. We're going to lambano power. Amen? Why? So that we can go be his witnesses. Okay, so that we can begin to go and spread the gospel. Jesus knew that the church was going to need Holy Ghost empowerment if they were going to go out and change their world. And the disciples were actually known as, these are those who have turned the world upside down. They changed everything, all right? This, you know, what's interesting is that this word dunamis is like the word dynamite. It's the same Greek word that we get the word dynamite from. How many know that dynamite blows things up? If you're trying to build a road through a mountain or a blockage, what you need is some power. What you need is some dynamite to blow away the blockage of religion, the blockage of unbelief, the blockage of atheism and agnosticism and skepticism, the, the blockage of idolatry. The, uh, come on, there's a power that comes in and blows things up. And when we're filled with the Holy Ghost, we've got that inside of us wherever we go. I don't mean go start walking around. Y'all understand I'm not talking about you guys going and actually physically blowing things up, right? I'm talking about being able to remove the walls that keep people from receiving. 